Okay guys, in this tutorial we will learn about the PIC controller and how it can read an analog signal or you can simply call it as an analog to digital converter. So for it, first of all we need to write or we have to click on this part that is P and write here 18F452. 18F452 is actually the most common and most useful controller within the PIC family. Due to its multiple input and output port, you can control a lot of appliances or you can interface with a, with a lot of sensors. So here you can see that we have we have pins like OSC1 or clock 1 OSC2 or clock 0 so these both are actually clock R like you can say that oscillator pins so go and write your crystal crystal mean crystal oscillator so we got this quartz crystal and right click on it rotate clockwise clockwise and attach the crystal with pin number 13 and 14 also take two pf condenser that is uh, pf capacitors that are of the value of 22 pf so capacitors and we have selected two capacitors like this attach these capacitors with these crystal oscillators combine the other side of these capacitors and attach it with the ground okay now is in micro c code we have declared the port c is output port so we have to connect some leds on this port c led red or like yeah we can select red leds so led red and we can anti clockwise we can rotate it anti clockwise and copy to click port and paste from clipboard okay again sorry it must be rotated anti clockwise and that must be placed here paste from clipboard okay and touch it Paste from Grim port and place like it. Paste from clipboard. Okay, now now we are going to make some bit simple in order to attach more LEDs. Okay, now there are for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more that one is it okay now combine them like this okay now also take one ground and attach the common cathode of these LEDs with that top ground okay now with with C that is C naught. Uh, we will attach D7 uh, first LED and then second with the C1 pin, third with C2, fourth with C3, fifth 
my hand with c5 for takes d5 and then c6 with uh, sorry this one okay like this and with c7 like that okay now we will go we will now put some hex file within it as our code is written in the micro c so what code is actually telling us that it is telling us that unsigned integer is a data type of this adc underscore zero zero means that adc underscore zero zero is just a variable you can write any name instead of this adc then wide main is a built-in main function of the programming so all the programming must be inside this main program then we will move towards trace uh, that is 0xff means that we have declared the port a as input means that all the pins of they are actually input then trace c is equal to 0x3f and it simply means that pins rc7 and rc6 are outputs and port b is output we are saying port b is output although we have connected with like you can say um, with c so we have to do one thing like uh, we have to okay we have to write like 0x00 and it will it will just convert all the port c to 0 and just delete them out okay it is b is equal to 0 or you can say that you can just write 0 instead of 0x00 yeah okay now now okay we will just store the value of adc00 into the port c uh, variable which is actually having or uh, which is just showing us the add output pins of port c so first me we have to run it if it is successful then we have to like uh, Okay, now we will just click on save and we will write to adc underscore zero zero but we have to memorize the name of this folder and then click save okay now we will go towards the microcontroller and double click on it and uh, click uh, it must be at megahertz because we have selected in the proteus or in micro c then we'll go to here and then write new oh sorry write new folder and two so here we we, we got our hex file that is adc underscore zero zero then click open and okay and now what we will give on this uh, we can say that a0 uh, from programming we can say that so one on pin one Okay, now and here we will just write one volt and then we will click OK. Now it's a uh, yeah, we we have one thing we just forgot that is we must have to collect, uh, we must have to connect this 
m clear that is master clear with 5 volt you must have to select it as 5 volt then we will come towards a a1 that is analog pin 1 so place on dc voltage and just go to a1 and just attach with with one volt and just run the okay. now on one that is one volt is actually giving us the digital output now it is converting the one volt into this output then we will write here two and press ok and again we'll, we will run it and then you can see that this is the digital output for for two volts and for three volts we got this one and for four volts we got this one and for 5 volt we got all the LEDs as one so our logic and circuit is totally okay so hopefully you can now build your own what's called as the uh, ADC with the help of pit micro controller so the exe is uh, given inside the description link and you can download the exe from the given link so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching